Hey, welcome back this morning. We're over here in the book of Philippians chapter 1 still, and we're at verse 19 through 21. Let's read it. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death, for to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. That's an interesting thing to say. To live is Christ, but to die is gain. Very interesting. Well, if I don't live, if I'm killed for my faith, then I don't get to preach anymore. I, I'm waiting, I'm resting, waiting for the resurrection, and I'll have a better resurrection, the New Testament tells me elsewhere. Now, if I die presenting Jesus to others or his gospel, his kingdom truth, if I die, Paul says I'm ahead. So again, we're faithful just in whatever situation we are, and we may have years of opportunity. We may have many opportunities in different media to present the truth. We may not. There may be a closing of the door. I don't doubt that the door could close very easily. And these presentations that I'm filming right now could easily be stripped off the internet and come to nothing but they won't come to nothing because you can't do anything against the truth. To live as Christ, if we can speak out and, and draw people toward the kingdom, it's good. If we die while we're faithful to the Lord Jesus, he's going to even use that for his glory and his kingdom. His prayer is in verse 20, that Christ will be magnified in his body, whether by life or death. So yes, the body is subject to dying, subject to torture, persecution, and mistreatment. And sometimes that's going to happen to us. But when it happens, we won't be glad that it happened because of the pain, but we can say to ourselves, you know what, I am serving the Lord Jesus. This is just kind of part of the, uh, this is part of the covenant. This is part of the expectation. And sad though it be, there were a lot of people who were martyred, and in their death, others were drawn to the kingdom. So whatever situation you or I find ourselves in, let's not feel like we've been cut off from everything and our, our death means nothing or our life means nothing. God is on his throne and he's going to use it for his kingdom. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. We pray and ask that you'll be our leader, be our helper, be our guide. Use us for your work. And yes, there are going to be times of imprisonment and persecution and harassment and where we seem like we're put off to the side. Help us to just trust in you and seek to be faithful to Jesus. And we ask you to help us in that way, that simple way, in Jesus' name today, amen. May God be your helper today, no matter how enclosed the devil tries to make you, God will use your life for his good.